Mayor Brandon Johnson responded to protesters who are suing the city of Chicago because officials deny their request to hold a protest march during the Democratic National Convention this August. My vision for the DNC ultimately is to have a safe, energetic, vibrant um, convention. And I'm confident that we will be able to deliver that. You know, as far as applications are concerned, there are parameters in which we are working with um, that individuals who wish to demonstrate um, we're asking those individuals work within those parameters. The mayor went on to emphasize he supports organizations First Amendment rights to protest. He pointed out his past as an organizer of demonstrations and says he wants to make sure protests are held safely and securely while the DNC is underway. And he says he wants people who have no interest in the convention can go on about their lives. Instead of meeting with us and working out a compromise that brings us within sight and sound of the DNC, the city has tried to shut us away in a corner. The groups want to hold their demonstrations close to the United Center where the convention will be held, but have instead been told they are restricted to the stretch of Columbus Drive from Roosevelt to Jackson. That location is more than three and a half miles away. Let us not fool ourselves. We are here today because the city of Chicago is working with the Democratic National Committee to avoid the image of protesters delivering political messages to the, to the President of the United States. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Once again, we got to talk about the Democrat Party Civil War, which is the most fascinating piece of news that the mainstream liberal media is not covering enough, okay? They are obsessed with Trump's trials, but instead, what they actually really should be covering is the fact that the Democrat Party is falling apart, and the Democrats are in panic for multiple reasons, okay? Well, the primary reason is because the trials, the cases against Trump aren't working, but they also have to deal with their own coalition of woke communist uh, far left protesters who continue to be a pain in the ass for Democrats when it comes to this issue of Israel and Gaza. And that seems to be what is going to destroy the DNC convention, okay? And Democrats are preparing for the worst, okay? Because for whatever reason, they decided that, hey, we're going to hold this in Chicago, okay? Uh, and the mayor of Chicago, we know is soft on crime. We know that he's incompetent. So um, they really can't rely on this guy to help uh, deal with the far left woke revolutionaries who are going to show up to the DNC and cause havoc and to rage, okay? And um, again, this is a big, big, big deal because what they don't want is the imagery of the far-left communists protesting Democrat politicians. Now, I always tell you guys in politics, you need to be careful what you support and what you ask for because the pendulum always swings the other way. Now, what I mean by that is that in 2020, Democrats celebrated and they supported the violent extremists when they were useful tools against the Republicans. Like, for example, we all remember the imagery of Rand Paul being harassed outside of the RNC by communist BLM rioters who were upset with the Republicans and Trump over George Floyd and police brutality. And again, Democrats were totally fine with this. They didn't have a problem with it. Again, as Rand Paul was being harassed. Yeah, so you see now you heard that. 
this is a great example again what i'm talking about when i say the pendulum always swings the other way okay brianna taylor and george floyd have now turned into palestine and hamas right gaza okay that's what it's turned into but this time it's affecting the democrats and the last thing they want is to get the Rand Paul treatment that they didn't give a damn about in 2020, right? That they were basically supporting, okay? You had Nancy Pelosi coming out here uh, in the dashiki cloths, okay? In the hats or whatever you want to call them. Uh, and, you know, kneeling and doing all that nonsense, thanking George Floyd for his sacrifice. Because again, it benefited them, okay? So I didn't give a damn that the Republicans in their lives could have been in danger or were in danger, to be quite honest with you, because these far leftists. Now, all of a sudden, when it comes to them, though, oh, we don't want that to happen to us. OK, to the point now where the communists are suing the city of Chicago for essentially uh, making it so it is illegal for them to protest at the DNC. And basically, uh, the DNC, the city of Chicago, said, no, no, you have to protest three miles away. Right. You got to protest all the way over there. You can't protest. The Democrats, the politicians, as they're going to the DNC and leaving the DNC, the same way that the far leftists were allowed to harass Republicans during the RNC convention back in 2020. The ACLU has filed a lawsuit on behalf of a group wanting to protest near the site of the Democratic National Convention here in Chicago. As WGN's Christine Flores reports, they want to make sure the delegates can hear their complaints. Well, good evening. This is the next step. A number of groups along with the ACLU are taking after having their permit denied to protest during the DNC. They are asking to rally near areas such as the convention center and here along Michigan Avenue. It's absurd that we even have to file a federal lawsuit in order to assemble here in while the Democratic Convention's happening. The ACLU is representing nine groups who are calling themselves bodies outside of unjust laws and who have filed a federal lawsuit asking a judge to grant them the ability to protest closer to DNC areas, such as the United Center, McCormick Place, and Michigan Avenue, where most delegates usually stay. The reasoning has been very vague. Um, so the city has cited, you know, not having enough resources during the convention to ameliorate any traffic disruptions. And they've um, talked about not having sufficient law enforcement. This is one of the reasons that it's clear that the permit denial is so um, clearly unconstitutional. The group says the city told them they are restricted to Columbus Drive from Roosevelt to Jackson, more than three miles from the United Center. The coalition notes similar backlash protesters received back in 1996, the last time the DNC was in Chicago. Back then, litigation moved the security footprint within sight and sound of delegates. We've been down this road again, and one would hope that we would learn the lessons from 96 and not have to have this kind of litigation. The complaint argues the Chicago permit ordinance and the recently passed city ordinance for security zones are unconstitutional. The most important thing is that there is some way for protesters to reach those Democratic delegates. Organizers are pushing to be closer to Democratic delegates who they say have done little to help their causes. To force the Democrats to live up to their verbal promises rather than cynically using our issues for electoral fodder. And like with so many previous promises, ignoring them after the election. The DNC is scheduled to take place here in the city between August 19th through the 22nd. We wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on now. AOC told us that protests are supposed to be uncomfortable, right? You're supposed to make the politicians uncomfortable when you are protesting over injustice, except when it comes to Democrats, it's not okay to make the Democrats uncomfortable, right? They don't want the far leftists to get close to them. The same way they got close to Rand Paul doing the RNC convention and Republicans in 2020. Again, it's amazing. Democrats only believe in law and order when it comes to protecting themselves, okay? No police for you, but police for us, okay? We got to make sure that we have police on deck, law enforcement everywhere. You can't be blocking traffic. You cannot be disrupting things when it comes to the Democrats and their agenda. But, you know, hey, it's fine if you do it to Republicans. It's fine if you uh, disrupt the lives of everyday normal Americans, even in these liberal cities. Democrats don't give a damn. But when it comes to them and their agenda, the DNC, oh, we don't want that, right? We don't want that. All of a sudden, no, 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 no. We can't get rid of Shot Spotter, right? You guys remember that? I've done plenty of stories on Shot Spotter. These people 
uh, Brandon Johnson wanted to get rid of it. It's racist, right? But uh, we, we want to keep it until after the DNC, though. We want to make sure that this ineffective racist system is still in place until after the DNC, right? Well, if it's so racist and ineffective, why do you need it for the DNC? Again, it's amazing. It's so funny how the Democrats and all the arguments they make um, when it comes to why we shouldn't have law and order, none of that applies when it comes to themselves, right? All of a sudden they want law and order. They want everything in place to make sure that they don't face the wrath of the far left communists that they have supported for the last eight years. Again, it's, it's, it's just so funny. The hypocrisy is stunning. It's in your face. Okay. So with that being said, again, Democrats are panicking. Okay. They are preparing for the worst, the absolute worst, because again, they know that the woke mayor of Chicago, this guy is so incompetent. They <laughs> have no faith that he's going to be able to actually protect them. So again, they're preparing for the worst. There are even some reports that are suggesting that they can move it online, right? They could just have the DNC remote because that's how afraid they are of the communists showing up and again having imagery that is not going to look good for joe biden going into the election there's a new report today that says democrats are quote preparing for the worst when they come to chicago in august for the democratic national convention political reporter paris shuts is more on how democrats aim to avoid that worst case scenario paris Sylvia and Terrence, that report in National Politico magazine suggests that Democrats are indeed worried about protests and disruptions at Chicago's DNC in August. Now, Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth was instrumental in getting the convention here to Chicago. She says she is not preparing for the worst. I'm preparing for the best. Chicago is, we're going to showcase this wonderful city. People are going to have a great time. We've been preparing for the convention. The fundraising is going well. The suites are sold out just about uh, 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 for the convention. And we're going to go and we're going to have a, a great convention where we're going to talk about all these issues, including access to reproductive technology. <laughs> And political reports that the DNC might indeed rearrange events and pre-tape more of the presentations to avoid protests breaking out inside the United Center to disrupt some of the presentations. Now, the article suggests that DNC is worried about rookie mayor Brandon Johnson, that he sides with protesters, although we did speak with the U.S. Secret Service on Fox 32 earlier this week. They said they've been working with the city and Chicago Police Department for a year on a yet-to-be-released security plan and perimeter around the United Center. Now, Duckworth made the comments today at an unrelated event discussing legislation to protect access to IVF uh, in the country. And uh, coming up at 5, we'll have Duckworth's message for protesters at the DNC. Reporting live from River North, Paris Schutz, Fox 32, Chicago. Wow. Wow. You gotta love it, man. You really do. Okay? I'm enjoying this so much. You guys don't understand just how much it really does just warm my soul. It really does. To see Democrats facing the consequences of the extremism that they promoted in this country. And, and that's what people got to learn when it comes to being in bed with people who act so emotionally, right? When it comes to these issues. Okay. And again, Democrats supported this stuff. They said, Oh no, it's totally fine. And okay. For you to commit acts of political violence, for you to make your voices heard, to do whatever you want to do when it comes to protesting against Republicans, we don't care. Burn cities on fire. Burn neighborhoods down. In some cases, people lost their lives during these protests. Now, all of a sudden, fast forward to 2024, when it's negatively impacting them, when they're the target, oh, no, 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 no. We can't have all that, right? We can't allow you to freely make uh, Democrats uncomfortable, which, again, is something that AOC, this is what she supported. She said, that's the point, right? To get in the faces. Okay, Maxine Waters. Telling her supporters, get in the faces of Trump supporters and Trump officials, okay? Democrats are totally fine with making everybody else uncomfortable except them. And you see what's happening right now. I think this is going to backfire. I really do. I think that if things continue to go the way that they're going, okay, when it comes to what's going on with Israel and Gaza, um, you're going to see massive protests at the DNC, and it's going to be ugly because these people— as we've seen, um, they don't accept no for an answer, right? You, you think they're going to be able to stop what probably will be thousands of these extremists uh, showing up to Chicago to protest Democrats? You think that they're going to be able to stop them? I, I, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. I think it's going to be a shit show. Okay. I think that it's going to be out of control. I think that um, it's going to be worse than they can imagine. I really do. And the more they push back against it, the worse it's going to be. And what you're going to have, what you're going to see is imagery of law enforcement, who the far left is hate, by the way. They hate law enforcement. Again, having to rough up these individuals at the request of Democrats. Okay? Who, again, before all this, they were pretty anti-police. Okay? They, they don't like police brutality. But best believe, they're going to support the hell out of police brutality uh, during the DNC. Right? They gonna tell they gonna tell these officers do what you gotta do. Right? <laughs> they gonna be pro police brutality. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. So you know, all of this, in my opinion, is hilarious. Uh, we're gonna see what happens, but I'm just letting you guys know the Democrats are in full blown panic mode when it comes to the DNC. So we're gonna see what happens, but again, they're preparing for the worst, which means that it's probably gonna be worse than what they could imagine okay which i mean hey you know this is what democrats supported in 2020 and now uh it is backfired against them so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace